One useful relation in evaluation of diffraction is known as Babinet's principle. We have an aperture, a hole, which is defined as a function with value of 0 when it's opaque and 1 when it's transparent. An incident plane wave diffracts from the aperture and we are interested in its diffraction pattern at screen. It can be calculated from diffraction integral. And in the far field, we are dealing with Fraunhofer diffraction. Next, we are interested in diffraction of the incident wave from a complementary aperture. In this case, instead of a hole, we have a block. It is a function with values 1 minus a. The diffraction integral can be written with this aperture like this. And further, it can be separated in the two parts of the aperture function like this. The first part is the diffraction of an unobscured wave, and it is a delta function. The second part we can recognize as diffraction of the initial aperture. The diffraction in this case consists of a delta function at the origin and the diffraction pattern of the original aperture in opposite phase. If we neglect the delta function at origin, we see that intensity of the diffracted light is equal for the original aperture and its complementary aperture. This statement is known as the Babinet's principle and it helps in evaluation and intuitive understanding of diffraction phenomena.